This is the entrance to Bun Hill Fields Burial Ground in Islington. Amongst the people buried here are William Blake, Daniel Defoe, John Bunyan and a number of other notables. We're just going to have a wander around and see what we can find. We're just inside the gate of the burial grounds now. Uh, the main path up the middle here uh, is fenced off from the actual graves. This is the memorial to John Bunyan, the author of Pilgrim's Progress. The sloth of despair and all those colourful uh, descriptions in it. Almost opposite is the memorial to Daniel Defoe, author of Robinson Crusoe, of course. And this monument is, a, is the result of an appeal in the Christian World newspaper to the boys and girls of England for funds to place a suitable memorial for him. Next door is a, a much smaller stone marking where the remains of the poet William Blake lie. Tiger, tiger, burning bright, something we had to learn in school days, 1757, 1887, and his wife Catherine Sophia. Next to it is a stone to the Reverend Joseph Swain of Walworth, who was only 35 when he died. I know nothing more about him than that. The memorials here are all fenced off with iron railings and they simply don't want you to go in there. If you look at the gate here, padlocked. That seems to be a great shame. These are the memorials we can see by peering over the fence. That it uh, rather destroys the meaningful time you can have in a graveyard if you can't move among the memorials and read the inscriptions. Rather a shame, rather disappointing. I'm sure there's a lot of interesting inscriptions in here, a lot of interesting people that we'd like to learn about. There's one tomb that you can get close to. Here lies Dame Mary Page, relic of Sir Gregory Page Bart. She died 1728, aged 56. And there's a couple more stones up here outside of the railed off area. I don't understand why they've padlocked it off. We've just been around other graveyards in London and they're fine, they're unpadlocked and uh, they're looked after, they're kept all right. Right, this is the Reverend Alexandra Wow, wow. one of the founders of the London Missionary Society and one of its most, hmm, can't read that, it's, it's a bit grubby, and persistent advocates. There we are. I'll show you here. It says it's a wild life reserve, but that's true of a lot of the cemeteries in London, and they don't have to padlock those off. One here outside to Joseph Hardcastle, a merchant of the city of London. Lies beneath the lawn in front of this stone. He was a founder of the British and Foreign Bible Society and first treasurer. Got a little group of stones here which are accessible. William Bowsfield, late of the parish of St Olaves, Southwark. Reverend Joseph Barber, a number of members of his family. We've got Townsend family here, number of names, Reverend. Anne Philipson, widow of Joseph Philipson of Chelsea, a surgeon, and various members of their family. 
Elizabeth Berry, Charlotte Augusta Berry, and Mr. Beyond Berry. Over here we have the Reverend John Condor, pastor of a church at Cambridge, and afterwards at somewhere in London, president of the Independent College at Homerton. William Shrubsoul, composer of Miles's Lane. Not a tune I'm familiar with, but the first notes are there on the stone. Reverend Theophilus Lindsay, later St John's College in the University of Cambridge and sometimes Vicar of Catterick. And then on the side here, we have Mrs. Elizabeth Rayner, early allied in blood to the illustrious House of Percy, de deemed it a still greater honour to be the friend and fellow worshipper of Mr. and Mrs. Lindsay by their desire, was deposited in the same grave. I'll leave you with this shot. It's been a disappointment. Having visited the seven magnificent, magnificent seven graveyards in London and having had free access uh, to almost everywhere, there was an admission fee at Highgate, but that was the only restriction. And then to come here and find it all padlocked off uh, is disappointing. And I would say to you, if you're close by, then by all means walk through and see the dozen memorials that you can access but if you're coming any distance then uh, your time is better sent, spent elsewhere. See you next time.